I think that like I go through different phases where um, especially going to Oklahoma being with Blake and just having downtime that's when I get there I'm like uh oh I don't want to leave like what why would I ever leave and go back and do stuff right but then when I'm doing it I get so inspired and like I'm still like writing music I'm still you know doing give my makeup line and I have the boys it's it is very busy but I guess I I like I like to be inspired, I like to be creative, I like to be still part of the fabric of the world. So for me, I, I'm not burnt out. I graduated at 17 and I was just, gosh, I wasn't even like baked at all yet. You know what I mean? Like I was like, I was still like raw. Like I, I had no idea what I was gonna do. I didn't know anything about who I was. And at that point I hadn't even written a song. So Just A Girl didn't come out until I was 26 years old. So I was in No Doubt for nine years, like trying to get, do you know, just, we weren't even trying. Like we were just doing it because that's what we love to do. We didn't think anyone would actually, we would get on the radio, you know what I'm saying? Or that anyone would care. And then next thing you know, out of nowhere, I just started writing all these songs. And so that's the tragic kingdom and it's just, it. And none of it makes sense. It's all like sent from above because there's no way to make sense of it. It just is like, it feels like I'm talking like I'm in a dream. I was saying backstage, I was, we're in the dressing room over here. I was like, this, everything lately feels like a dream. Like nothing feels real anymore because it's like, we're so far into the future. You have so much time to kind of reflect. At one point my life fell apart and I had like the family fell apart. It was just like, such a terrible, there's so many people out there that have gone through the same thing. And I mean, it just makes me emotional talking about it. Like I'm, ugh, I have to like, you know, um, but when that happened is when I had to like literally start over again. It was like a reset of my life. And I wanted to start something fresh and new that was just going to be kind of like my thing that I start over that is like, if I'm not on stage, if I'm not doing music anymore, people aren't listening. Like I want to do something that is creative. And so I want to start a makeup line. That is like a huge dream for me um, and passion for me. And especially at my age now, I feel like there's so many people that are around my age that just want to still feel like pretty, you know what I'm saying? And feel good and like wake up in the morning and, and like, you know, it, it gets harder. And that's why I called it give, because it's like you give, like you you give of yourself when you're putting your makeup on and it's it, it's a chance for every day to be creative. And so I really enjoy like that, this chapter of, of doing that and being like creative within that space of makeup. Um, I think people don't really know like how I was a makeup artist when I was a kid. Like I was, I worked at the counter how like even before that though, like what a huge passion makeup was for me and still is every single day. Like I get lost in doing my makeup. Like I'm like, shoot, okay, I have to put my alarm on my phone. Like you got 15 minutes, like, or else I'll just keep going, going, <laughs> like, oh, maybe I'll do, you know? So it's just a really fun, creative thing for me and to be able to share that with other people that, that don't know, like they don't know the possibilities of what makeup can do. I mean, I do not look like I look right now without this makeup on, I don't. Right? And it's not that it's bad without it, it's just fun to have a different version. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I've been working on music. I, I'm literally coming from the studio last night. I wrote two songs in two days. And it just never, it just never gets old because I was explaining to everybody this morning, I was like, I wish you could see it happen. Like it's, it's so mystical, it's so spiritual, and it's so uh, like magical. Like you, you don't have a song. And then next thing you know, you have this, this song that like embraces your life and it's just there. And you don't really, can't really say how it happened. And, it, it, and everybody in the room is doing the same thing. So it's just, that is just something that you never get over. The music is the one thing that is still a fire for me. Like it gives me that like, Oh, I love, I love these songs and I'll listen to them over and over and over. And um, so I'm excited to actually put something out. I feel like I finally stepped into that place where I'm like, okay, I know what this record is now. Like I can hear the sound of it. Like it's coming together. I have some writing partners that are just, they're so inspiring and talented and they're able to really like pull it out of 
the story. And so as far as like what the, what the story is, I mean, I'm never gonna write anything that's not just completely reflective of what's going on in my life. I'm not a creative writer where I make up stories and like pretend, you know what I mean? So obviously I have the No Doubt chapter and then I have kind of my dance records, solo records, and then I did my Christmas album. That to me was one of my favorite albums that I've ever done. Being able to write Christmas music and just the way that record turned out, it's, it was a dream for me to be able to write a Christmas song and then to be able to write a song with Blake, uh, a Christmas song. And I think it was both of our dreams because we both come together with loving Christmas music. I mean, it's something that we truly, truly love. But yeah, we've, we've done a lot together and written a little bit together, but it's just not enough for me. Like I, I'm always like, come on, Blake, let's do more, let's do more. And he's just a magic, magic person. So you just want more of him all the time. And he's very generous, so he does give a lot, but it's like, I just can't get enough. I didn't see any of this coming with Blake. I mean, this was just like a big old like, what? And to be able to escape to Oklahoma, a place that I don't think I would ever have gone to. And when I met Blake, it was like, that's when I felt home, right? Like it was like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be with this guy. And so he's sort of like, it, it's just so true. And it was so automatic and, oh, it's just such an amazing gift to be able to experienced love like that for the first time. Like it was just like, oh, like, ah, oh, this is it. And so going to Oklahoma was like, um, just being introduced to a whole world I didn't know about. And I, I'm not really like a dirt person, like, or like a bug person or a hot per Like, I don't like that much, like, like the humidity, all that. But it doesn't, you sort of get over it all cause it's so, beautiful there and you kind of feel like you're going into this like vortex and then you get there and you're like oh, this is just different here and it has this it's it's I guess it's just nature and God is all right there so you're just surrounded by uh, that as opposed to you know I love people but it's like really nice to to get away and think and I now I get why he loves to be on the tractor why he loves to to grow things and why he likes to work really hard there. We used to go there and I would be like, I don't wanna do anything, like I'm tired. Like, why are you, let's just lay here and eat pizza. Like, and, and he'd be like, no, I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go cut wood. I'm gonna like sit down. Like, but now we get there and we're both, he's like, we're working. Like we gotta get those sunflowers planted. Like we gotta make the zinnias happen. And, and we are constantly working and it's just, it's a different kind of work. I was riding with this guy that just has like an 11 month old baby and it's just so cute to watch. You look back and I said, hey, you know that like when your baby was nine months, think about that. Like that's when I took Kingston on a world tour. <laughs> like we did 120 shows and I would have to nurse him and then get on stage and then come off and he would like twirl my ponytail. And I mean, basically like I did work through a lot of that, which if I could say I regretted something, I would say that I wish that I could have divided it because that time is so precious. But at the same time, it was like, it was happening then. And I, you know, I, I was grateful for all of it and it just all came at one time. And so I think that like, the thing is, is that I was blessed to be able to have three boys and have three different completely experiences. So when I got home from that tour, I got pregnant that month with Zuma. And then I went back on tour <laughs> when he was uh, nine months with No Doubt and we did like 60 shows. And, and then, you know, that's so having, adding the children into like everything at that point, I think I will be really honest, like, to anyone just to be super transparent that's when things got really hard for me like to be able to do it all i think emotionally like you just don't want to miss anything but also don't want to let go of like this momentum of like how does this happen to anyone what's happening to me like i, I have to i have to keep going right and i want to so i did and it, it seems to have worked out okay but um when I did have a goal that when I was, my kids were teenagers that I really wanted to make sure that I was home there for them. And here we are. <laughs> and it, it somehow it works out because, you know, they have their dad and they go over there. And when they go, I'm like, <laughs> let me do 
do all this stuff and then okay dinner's ready when they get home like <laughs> it's that's just the truth you know what i'm saying so um it's it's not easy but it's also like i wouldn't want to be just sitting around for sure i want to produce like i want to make stuff I don't think it really comes from like, oh, your parents do music, so you're going to do music. I, I, I think it's just everybody has their individual purpose and talents and gifts or whatever. Um, but with, yeah, Kingston did perform. It, the idea was um, King has like been writing a bunch of amazing songs. And I mean, there truly are like, I, 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 I'm, when it's your kid, it's like you love everything, but it's like this is like next level to me. Like these are really good songs. So Blake said, uh, "Hey, we, he's got to get. We got to go live now. We got. He's got to learn how to do that. I mean, it's like it's so different than writing a song, but to be able to sing live is like a whole other thing. And you know, I think back like when I was in No Doubt, I was exactly his age when I No Doubt got together. So, anyways, we were talking about that, and Blake has a bar um, restaurant in Tishmingo where we live in Oklahoma and he's like hey I'm getting up to do you know at the doghouse in Tishmingo to do that's the name of the club part of it um, to do like some acoustic stuff he should just get up and try to play a couple of his songs so it was just really like casual and so we texted him he's like would you want to do this and it wasn't like a debut or anything like that it was literally like this is what it's like to be on a microphone like you know you want to like because I'm sure he's going to want to start his own band and do his whole thing. But it was like, it was summertime and we were doing it. And so he hopped up there. I was bawling. <laughs> I was like watching him bawling. But um, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy when you have children and they, uh, they like learn what their gift is. And then you see their talent and you're like, wow, like it's just, I'm so happy for him that he has that outlet because I wouldn't expect him to, you know, I it's songwriting like we just talked about is just so great because you can put your thoughts there and it's such an amazing therapeutic like place to land things and emotions and so it's it just makes me happy he has that Beautiful, right there. I think what makes me feel the most joy is this little successes as a parent um, and and also as a parent meaning with Blake because we're doing this together and it's so um, it's these little like milestones where you look back and you go, wow, like look where we're at now. Like we, we made, there's growth. And it's just, it's one of those things where you just feel, it just makes you feel really good and relieved. And you're just like, oh, you know, cause I think that anybody that has children will, you know, admit that it's the hardest thing like that you could do because it's just like, it's life, right? And it's your responsibility to make sure that they're gonna be happy and safe and, produce great things here on this in to to this world right and so that's your biggest hope and i think that that just brings me so much joy when i see the the, the success in that part of me wants to be like you know i should have done this i could have done that but at the same time if i would have done anything different i wouldn't have had that in, i mean who gets what i got like it was just this incredible journey